we as white people do not get to do is to try to explain away how we are good white people, how we are not like those other white folks. Because what that does is it invalidates that person of color's experience and it tries to separate us and put us outside of the construct of white supremacy, of the benefit of white privilege and white supremacy. We are complicit in it. So long as there is white supremacy, so long as there is racism, we as white folks will be continuing to benefit from it. So while we can unpack, we can deconstruct, we can work to become anti-racist, there is no such thing as a good white person because we are every day still benefiting from the color of our skin, from the complexion for protection. And we need to stop trying to prove how good we are and start listening and start humbling ourselves to learn how we can do better. Arab slavers took more Africans out of Africa and transported them to the Middle East and South America than the European slavers took out of Africa and brought to North America. Arab slavers began taking slaves out of Africa beginning in the 9th century, centuries before the European slave trade and continued well after after the slave trade. So what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to readdress this video again. The other day I was kind of ranting, I was trolling, and I wanted to come a little bit more serious and be a little nicer and decimate this woman's ideology. Now, when I mentioned the Arabs, it's not to point at other cultures that did it and say that it's okay, it's not. But it also seems like at that time, that's, that was the lifestyle, it seemed like slavery. Even like really long ago, because I was reading, it said Vikings, and Romans were like doing the slave thing, all that, but it seems like the Arabs were the best to do it. Now, what I want to do, and my time's pretty limited, I gotta get the baby go to work, and I gotta get to, I mean, to school, I gotta get to work, but uh, I wanted to point out how she's wrong, and I would, and I wanna challenge her to something, okay? With her, uh, with her ideology, with her logic, all right, all white people are bad. There's no such thing as a good white person. She probably even would even go further and say all white people are evil, all white people are demons, all this kind of stuff, right? With her ideology, okay, she believes all white people are racist, all white people must have been slave masters and all this kind of stuff. Maybe she has them in her family line. Maybe that's why she feels guilty and stuff. But with her ideology, I challenge her to two things. Now, where's the, uh, the video for Arab people, for Arab people? You should be making another video and saying there's no such thing as a nice Arab person, right? I dare you to do that. I bet you she won't because it's easier for her to condemn her own race, right? I bet you she won't. I'll take it a step even further. Back then, there was even uh, black slave owners in Africa and even in the United States. So let's take this challenge a little further. I challenge her. Since you're going to call out the races or whatever, right? Even though it wasn't all black people, but there was a portion of them. So with her logic and her ideology, she should make a video saying there's no such thing as a nice black person. <laughs> right? So according to her, the way her thinking process works. So is she going to make that video? Can you imagine the backlash? Right? This is how her ideology, her thought process falls apart. She's a surface thinker. A surface thinker, she's obsessed with race. It controls her. A lot of people are controlled by by race, skin color. They, they let it. I was never raised like that. It's never, it's not in me. But she's a surface thinker. She can literally only think about the surface, right? And it all falls apart after that. She's one of those people that keep this whole race thing going, going, going. You know, not saying that racism doesn't exist. But there's good and bad, right and wrong, uh, and evil with all different races and colors or whatever. You know, it's very superficial, very surface thinking just to be like, oh, it's just white people. No, the Arabs were doing it long before. And they even had European slaves. They had Asians and like all these other different people. Though, you know, obviously the black people were the worst to get it. You know, you think about like Derby's Dose and stuff like that. But this woman's nutty. She's nutty. She's out there. She's an idiot. And this is the nice for me. <laughs> you know, I, w I would love to hear your thoughts about that. Her, her, her thought process falls down apart. I still do feel I, I stand by everything I said in the other video. But she's somebody that's seeking attention, affirmation. She feels guilty, I guess. 
you know, if you feel so guilty, go make some donations, you know, to, that's going to help out people of color, black people, uh, offer somebody a place to stay, um, do whatever you can, you know, instead of just talking about how everybody, in the, in, in the, in, I guess, including yourself, is uh, is racist, and, and there's no such thing as a good white person. You know what I'm saying? Like, how long are we going to keep living this cycle of, like, okay, all white people are evil? Like, what is this going to be forever? And I'll end off the video with this. One last analogy, and you tell me if this analogy makes sense or not. Serial killers, right? Serial killers have been known to have, like, families. They put on this whole facade, right? Are we going to hold the serial killer's children accountable for his crimes? Right? Let's say a serial killer gets caught. Let's say he gets locked up for life sentence. Now come along the children. Are they now condemned? Are they also going to get life sentences? All I'm saying is that at a certain point, I think forgiveness has to start. And maybe it's hard because racism exists amongst certain people. Uh... But it has to start somewhere, I think, with forgiveness and the understanding that it wasn't just Europeans. I know it's hard to, like, swallow that and the fact that it was help happening worldwide and people only focus on the United States. It was happening everywhere. And to be truthful, if you're really so passionate about slavery and racism, slavery is still happening today. Look at human trafficking, right? How is that still being getting away with and, and, and people are taking our children and doing all kinds of things? You know what I'm saying? Slavery is still happening today. You know, so it happens in all forms all over the place. So this woman, right, that's catering and, and oh, she's hoping to get everybody's acceptance by selling out her own people and uh, her own skin color. If, we, if we're following in the ideology of that, that skin color thing, it's weak. She's a very weak woman and you can see in how she's speaking that she's weak. You know what I'm saying? So stop being about talk. And go actually do something and stop trying to sell everybody out and maybe take some accountability because what she's also doing by pushing it off on her entire race is she's not taking any accountability about how she feels. She's spreading out that accountability to everybody else. Don't make a video talking about everybody else. Make a video talking about you and how you're accountable and how you're sorry or whatever it is that you feel. You don't need to include everybody else. Be a grown person, be an adult and take some accountability like I spoke about in the last video. This woman... It's spineless. <laughs> That's what she is. She has no backbone. You know what I'm saying? To condemn everybody. No, condemn yourself. Speak for yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Peace, man. Have a good day. Take care of yourselves. I slept amazing last night. Make sure you guys get your sleep, man. A lot of times I, 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 I don't sleep right. Uh, I, don't, I take my sleep for granted. Uh, take my health for granted. I hear so many people, young people having strokes, heart attacks. Uh, try to take care of your health, man. Get some sleep. Get some rest. All right? I'm out. And peace. 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 I want to see the video, though. I see potential subscribers. Subscribe for more. This is the motherfucking